And what's going on with you? We are back again on the People's Paradise YouTube channel. And today we're talking about my personal view, my personal opinion of the film that I spent $10.11 to go see last night with my cousin. Shout out to Willie. I love you. Also, go check out his YouTube. That's my cousin. That's my bloodline. I love him to death. And that film is Detroit. The lovely and wonderful film, Detroit. Um... Shout out to John Boyega, shout out to Mark Boal, shout out to Catherine Bigelow, Deuce Bigelow, Deuce Bigelow, ah, uh, ah, uh, Deuce Bigelow, hey, 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 Big dick is showing me something, anyway, with that being said, I went to go see the film last night, actually turned out to be a very, very entertaining film, I enjoyed every minute of it, now granted, when I walked into the theater and saw the film, I was 15 minutes late, and with any black movie, pro black movie, a black movie that's set that's set in like this, like set in like uh, most of the black movies is like set in like set in like um before nineteen seventy. You can never be late because if you late, like if you at least ten minutes late, by the time you gonna be it, by the time you walk into the theater, you just gonna walk into the part where you see the cops just harassing black people for no reason and beating them with billy clubs and shit. Three times I went to three separate movies: Detroit, Selma, Malcolm X. Each time when I came in late to see the goddamn film, I, I came into the part where niggas was already getting their ass beat by the cops for no apparent reason. I'm like, hey, what's going on? God damn it, I did it again? Shit. At least add some context to the story. But with that being said, Detroit is a film based on 1967 21st Street riots. But after what happened during the riots was, there was a situation with the cops. A situation with the cops. At the Algiers Hotel. Algiers Motel in Detroit. What's the difference between a motel and a hotel? I never learned that. At the Algiers Motel in Detroit, officers, Detroit police killed three unarmed young black men at the hotel and were found not guilty when they were charged with murder charges. Everybody was up in arms about it. Niggas was niggas was riding about it. Niggas was pissed off about it. I'm still pissed off about it because to this day, no repercussions ever happened to them. Only thing that happened to them was that both of them, both of them didn't, all three of them didn't, all the cops who were involved ended up losing their job as cops or whatever. But besides that, nothing else happened. Um, that's the only thing like the good. Like we lose our life, they lose their job. Like that's the like in every like at night, like that's the equivalent of a black man's life. We gotta lose our life, or you lose our whatever they kill, whatever they kill a black man unlawfully, that's like the equivalent that's like the equivalent exchange for our life. Okay, you gotta lose your job, Bill. Bill, you killed a nigger, you gotta lose your job. But um overall, my personal opinion about this film, this is actually a really, really entertaining film. I enjoyed it. I recommend anybody in my audience, recommend everybody on my listeners, recommend all of you guys take the time to go see this film. I like films like this because you can see a parallel. Because keep in mind, this film was in 1967. The events of this film took place in the year 1967. That's 50 years ago. Some of y'all mamas and daddies was even alive at least 50 years ago. And you can see that at that time, that same action that took place, cops being on trial, overwhelming evidence showing that they killed the young man, found not guilty two months ago Philando Castile Philando Castile's murderer was caught on camera shooting him in the car while his daughter and his father, mother is in the while his daughter and his girlfriend's in the car found not guilty and we have we have video we have we have two point of view cameras that two point of two point of view video footage that shows that the cop should go to jail the shot cop is definitely guilty the cop had no right to shoot Philando Castile Philando Castile posed no threat to him now with that being said I'm going to say this also this is not the film that you take your white girlfriend to see unless you are trying to guilt trip her into giving you some pussy. This is not the film that you take her to see unless you're trying to guilt trip her into getting, giving you some pussy and it might be a second or third date. She ain't gave you none yet. Then this is the one you go say. Matter of fact, I might take mine to, I might take mine to go see tonight. I'd be like, hey, baby, let's go see. Hey, baby, let's, baby, let's, baby, let's go see the, uh, let's go see the Detroit film today. But so with that being said, no, it's a, it's a dope film. No, it's a dope film. I think that, I think it's just that, um, this is one of those type of films where you can't watch two types of films of that subject matter and of that death in a row because, nigga, you will kill yourself. It is. I left that film so angry and frustrated. I was just, it was just, it just was a lot of emotions going through my mind, man. You know, so the film shows a very, very shocking reality at the time. You know, and one thing I like about films like this, and I'm not going to spoil it for you, but at the end, there's no happy ending to the film. There's no happy ending to the film. Matter of fact, only I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, there's no happy ending to the film, and I like films like that because keeping it all the way a buck, 
back in those days, there was no happy ending to how there was no happy ending for black people back in those times. There was no happy ending. You know, the cops will break into your house. Cops will bust you, snatch you up, snatch you from your house, beat you in front of your wife and your kids. They would approach you on the sidewalk, hit you upside the head with a billy club, slam you on a concrete, call you boy, nigger, and all that shit. And there was no happy ending to that. You would go home, have to lick your wounds and keep going on the next and keep going on like nothing happened. You know, and that was just the harsh reality of life at the time. You know, it, you know, it just it was what it was. Um, so I recommend anybody watch the film, man. It's a good, it's a good film. Um, you know, um, I don't know. Just times were different right there. I, all I can say is, all I can say is, and I told my cousin this, I am so happy to be African American in this day and age in the year 2017, because right now I can say, fuck you. I can say, fuck you. And no repercussions happened to me. I feel I'm so happy that I'm alive at this moment in time, because I don't know if I could have survived back there, man. Like, I don't know if I could have lasted because I'm a very idealistic person. I'm a very courageous person. So I'm going to try to do some fuck shit if a cop comes to me and approaches me with the bullshit. I might try to snatch his bully cup. I might end up getting my shit rocked and end up going to jail for 47 years for trying to, for attempted, for attempted murder on an officer where I didn't even do nothing. You know, so, and, and a lot of dudes are like very, you always got to think about it. There are a lot of 80 year old, 90 year old, 70 year old black men who are in jail right now for shit they didn't do because of racism, because of cops painting murders on them, because of white women on them lying and saying they killed, they, um, they, kill somebody but they didn't rape them but they didn't rape them now granted to all my pro black people all my leftist niggas with the thick ass afros the black israelites black neo black panther niggas i don't want you to watch this film and turn this and turn the message of the of the film into a i hate white people jamboree i hate that don't do that don't do that because i don't like when dudes do that at the end of the day it was a different time it was a different time some of the same elements that existed in that time are existing this time too. That is true. But regardless of the fact, you shouldn't try to become what our oppressors used to be. You shouldn't try to adapt. You shouldn't try to wear that mask. Don't wear that mask. Don't wear that guys. It should all, it should always be about unity. It should always be about unity. That's my thing. I can't stand those black, neo black Israelites who hate white people, the Tariq Nasheeds, the, um, the Tariq Nasheeds, the new black Panther party, um, some of the really, really extreme black Muslims, I can't stand them because I, because I think they, I think they preach, they preach hate more than they preach love. And I think within this country, we're never going to get anywhere unless we start loving more, unifying more. And with that being said, macadamia and chocolate chip cookies are the best cookie that you can ever purchase in the grocery store. Make sure you buy me some because my birthday is in a month. And um, shout out to the girls number I got at the club last night. I'm gonna text you tonight. Uh, to my people who listen to me, make sure you. Click the subscribe button, click the subscribe button, and also please click the share button. Mash that share button, mash that share button as much as possible. Please mash that share button as much as possible because I really, 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 really need want to get this YouTube channel out there. So with that being said, thank you for listening to me. Thank you for being part of the family. My name is JT. One love.